Lisan ud da. Wat Arabic, Elson Aldwit Lisan ud Dawat, language of the Dawat, abbreviated LDA, is the language of the Tayyebi Boras of Gujarat, and Isma. Ili Shia Muslim community. It is a dialect of the Gujarati language, but incorporates a heavy amount of Arabic, Urdu, and Persian vocabulary and is written in the Arabic script. Originally a ritual language, since the period of the 41st Da. I all mit lak Saidna Jivabai Fakhruddin from 1330 a c. 1911 AD in Vadodara it has also been propagated as the vernacular language for members of the Alavi Boras, but the version used by the Saidna and his assembly members or clergy still differs slightly from the Gujarati spoken by other community members. Some key works in Lisan al Dawat are the translations of the literary masterpieces of Isma. Ili literature written during the reign of the Fatimids in Egypt, with summaries and admonitions in poetic form written by Fakhruddin. Some of the nasiyats recited regularly by Alavi Boras are, I Mumino Socho Zara, Dunaya Che A Dar E Fana, O Faithful, You Think That This World Is Going To End, and Kazano Ilm No Mushkal Kusha Ni Itrat Che, The Treasure of Knowledge is the Progeny of Ali, the Legatee of Muhammad Rasulullah. Many in the community look upon Lisan al Dawat as a bridge for their Gujarati community to Arabic. Origin The Alavi Bora community are a people who believe in Shi, a Isma, Ili doctrine, beliefs, and tenets. The 18th Fatimi Imam Maulana Mustansar Billah 478 a, 1094 AD, from the Aal progeny Muhammad al Mustafa, held the seat of the Fatimi Empire in Egypt and acted as the sole authority of the Shi, a Isma, Ili branch of Islam. In his era, Maulai Ahmad, Mulay Ahmed on Mustansar Billah's decree, arrived at the coast of Gujarat Kambat along with a group of traders. His responsibility was to spread Shi. I Islam in the guise of doing trade. At that time, Sidra Jaising was ruling in Patan Sidpur, and a small Isma Ili community was already residing in Gujarat. Many such representatives of Fatimi Imam were also present in Yemen. Every Isma Ili preacher who came to India after Malai Ahmad, either from Egypt or from Yemen, had Arabic as his basic and main language. With the help of Gujarati Isma Ili traders they gradually learnt the local native language to propagate their religion. It also happened that, in order to learn more about their religious teachings, many people from Gujarat migrated to the Da. I, the representative of the Imam of Egypt, in Yemen. This took place in the 10th century a, 16th century AD. This is where the basic Arabic language of Fatimi mission first combined with the local Gujarati language, giving birth to a new form of language which got more correlative, complex and comprehensive over time. Topic. Language contact of Arabic, Sanskrit, and Gujarati with Persian and Urdu Topic. During the mid-16th century, Mughals invaded India through the Gulf of Kambat Kambay, since Kambat was then the biggest port of India. Mughals came from Persia Iran, and spoke Persian Farsi. This was the period when Bora missionaries practiced and preached their faith openly and the local people felt their presence in Ahmedabad. Thus, the blend of Arabic, Sanskrit, Gujarati and Persian now was the language of the Boras. Also, Persian art and culture amalgamated with Indian art and culture. With the invasion of the Mughals arose a need for trade and commerce. New trade routes were opened between India and Persia. Along this route, Turkish people also started trade and commerce. They spoke a Perseo-Arabic language. The amalgamation of their language with the contemporary language of India gave rise to a new language, a link language called Urdu, due to the mingling of Persian and Hindavi AAM Boli. Thus it is a pidgin language and a part of the Proto-Indo-European language family. During this era, in 1621 AD, there was a major schism of succession in Ahmedabad among the Boras. A major group, the Dawoodi Boras, seceded from Alavi Boras who believed in the Da -ship leadership of the 29th Da I Al Mitlak Saidna Ali Saheb, the grandson of the 28th Da'i. 
Thus, Alavi Boras maintained their own separate identity from other Bora groups of Gujarat and Yemen, but the basic language pattern of all the Bora communities remained unchanged, unlike the Sulaimani Boras who deviated from the main course to embrace Urdu as their community language. Thus due to these reasons and the migration of the Alavi Boras from Ahmedabad to Vadodara, they speak a blend of Arabic, Sanskrit, Persian, Urdu, and Kajki. Kajki has a minimal influence on the Alavi Bora language and Sanskrit vocabulary also gradually degraded due to Gujarati influence on this language. Alavi Boras read, write and speak an Arabicized form blended with Arabic vocabulary of Gujarati called Lisan ud da wat il alvia, i.e. the language of the truly guided mission of Ali, Saidna and Martyr, which is an amalgamation of Arabic, Urdu and Persian words and written in Arabic script. Today, Alavi Boras are settled in Baroda Gujarat after the migration in 1110 AH c. 1698 AD and Ad-Dawat ul-Hadiya ul-Alviya. The rightly guided Alavi mission, is the official headquarters of the 45th Da'i ul-Mitlak. <laughs> Sound change and semantic change Sound change Topic. Sound change is the most studied area in historical linguistics. Sound tends to change over time and due to contacts with other languages. Sound change also helps to determine whether languages are related. In example I, the sound, P, in, panko, meaning, fan, changes to the sound, F, in, fanko, meaning, fan. This change has come due to the interaction of Arabic, as it does not have the sound p. A similar case is given in example e. Other examples In example e, the retroflex sound, l, in vowel meaning, hair, changes to the alveolar, l, in vowel. Similar cases are shown in iv, v and v. In example v, the retroflex sound, n, in, karen, meaning, reason, changes to the alveolar sound, n, in, karen. A similar case is shown in example v. In example x, the retroflex sound, d, in, pahad, meaning, mountain, changes to the alveolar sound, r, in, pahar. Similar cases are shown in examples x and she. In example xii, the postalveolar sound, s, in, cadvas, meaning, bitterness, changes to the alveolar sound, s, in, cadvas. Similar cases are shown in examples XIII and XIV. From the above examples E to XIV, it is observed that all of the retroflex and postalveolar sounds in standard Gujarati changes to alveolar sounds in Alavi Bora. This change is again due to the contact of Arabic and Persian, as the later languages do not possess retroflex and postalveolar sounds, thus they are changed to alveolar sounds in LDA. From example I to XIV, it can be observed that, though they have borrowed words from Gujarati, the words are themselves blended with Arabic, Urdu and Persian. Thus, Alavi Boras use an Arabicized form of Gujarati. In example XV, the mid-vowel, a, in, cap, meaning, cup, changes to the close mid-vowel, u, in, cup, meaning, cup, when followed by a stop, similar to example XVI. In example XVI, the open vowel, a, uh, in, barabar, meaning, proper, changes to the close mid-vowel, o, in, barobar, when followed by a stop. The same is the case with examples XVII and XVIII, where the close mid-vowel of the end vowel of, o, changes to, u. Thus, if open and mid-vowels are followed by a stop, plosive sound, they change to close mid-vowels. In example xix, the close mid-vowel, e, in, chem, meaning, y, changes to the close vowel, i, in, kim. Similarly, in example xx, the close mid-vowel changes to a close vowel when followed by the nasal sound per meter. In example xxi, the mid-vowel, a, uh, of, namak, meaning, salt, changes to the close vowel, i, in, nimic, when followed by the nasal sound per meter. Also in example XXII, the mid-vowel, a, uh, of, gal, meaning, swallow, changes to the close vowel, i, in, gil, when followed by the alveolar sound, l. 
This means that if the close mid and mid vowels are followed by a nasal sound per meter, or alveolar sound, L, the sound changes to a close vowel. Similarly in example XXIII, the close mid vowel, E, in, ketla, meaning, how many, much, changes to the close vowel, I, in, kitla. Similar cases are shown in examples XXIV and XXV. Thus, close mid and mid vowels change to close vowels when followed by the nasal sound per meter, or alveolar sound, L, and, T. Thus, from example XV to XXV, we can observe that the open vowels tend to move towards the close vowels, affecting the Gujarati lexicon. In example XXVI, the consonant sounds, K, and, Y, of, Kyar, meaning, when, are separated by the vowel sound, I, and the consonant sound, V, is also infixed in, Keyware. Infixation is a morphological process whereby a bound morpheme attaches within a root or stem. Infixation is a very common process in Arabic. Similar cases are shown in examples XXVII and XXVIII. A distinctive feature of the Semitic languages is the triliteral or triconsonantal root, composed of three consonants separated by vowels. The basic meaning of a word is expressed by the consonants, and different shades of this basic meaning are indicated by vowel changes. This distinctive feature of Semitic languages may be affecting the Gujarati words in examples XV, XVI, and XIX. Thus, this distinctive feature may also be responsible for the vowel changes in examples XV to XIX. Hence, from examples I to XXVIII, we can observe that, although they have borrowed words from Gujarati, there is an impact of Arabic, Persian and Urdu due to the language contact. Also, we can say that these language contacts are affecting the Gujarati language internally. Topic. Vocabulary Topic. Topic. Semantic change Topic. Semantic change is a change in one of the meanings of a word. In the above example, in standard Gujarati, Rasui means to cook, and pakavu means to ripen, and in LDA, pakavu means both to cook and to ripen. Pakna means to cook, as well as to ripen. In Urdu, here the meaning of to ripen is extended metaphorically. Metaphor in semantic change involves extensions in the meaning of a word that suggest a semantic similarity or connection between the new sense and the original one. Thus, due to the contact of Urdu and metaphorical extension they have dropped the word Rasui and have adopted the word Pakavu to explain both the senses of to cook and to ripen. In example e, like in example i, in Gujarati, who nominative means I and me ergative means I, but in LDA, me means I in both the cases. Also, in Urdu language, me and in Persian, man meaning I are used in both the cases. Thus, due to the contact of Urdu and Persian and metaphorical extension they have dropped the word who and have adopted the word me to explain both the senses I nominative and I ergative. Thus, from example I and E, we can observe the impact of Urdu and Persian on Gujarati through metaphorical extension. Topic. Semantic borrowing Topic. Semantic borrowing is the process of borrowing the entire semantic meaning from a language. Semantic borrowing occurs when two or more languages come into contact. Thus, from the above examples I to V, it is observed that Alavi Boras speak borrowed words from Arabic, Persian and Urdu. Hence, they use a particular form of Gujarati permeated with Arabic, some Persian words, and some Urdu words and write in the Arabic script called Lisan Ud Da, Wat Il, Alvia. This unique language makes the Alavi Boras linguistically different from other Bora sects. Topic. Recognition. Topic. After the 21st Fatimi Imam Maulana Tayyeb went into seclusion in 528 AH, 1134 CE from Egypt, his deputy, legatee and vicegerent, who is called the Da, 
I a spiritual head or a missionary working on the divine command of Imam in seclusion, started a religious mission in the name of Imam Tayyib for the purpose of self-searching and purity wherever Isma Ili Tayyibi people were staying. This mission came to be known as Ad Dawid al Hadiyat ut Tayyibiya, meaning, the rightly guided mission of Imam Tayyib. This religious mission continued in Yemen between 532 to 974 AH 1138 to 1567 AD, from the first Da' I Sayyidna Zob till the 24th Da' I Sayyidna Yusuf. During this period, as the time demanded and need arose, many Wali Mullahs the representatives of Da' I who in his absence is entitled to do all religious activities were appointed to teach in the Madrasa Tayyibiyya all aspects of the religious and social knowledge to the people. At each place where the Isma Ili Tayyibi community resided, there used to be a learned and pious mullah who conducted various classes of religious teachings with different groups of students under the direct guidance of the Yemeni Da. I. As the Isma. Ili Tayyibis, residing in Gujarat and nearby areas were very enterprising, enthusiastic, progressive and soulfully involved in business and accordingly in their daily affairs and conduct, they were called Boras, excellent or unique community. Because of their lineage to the 21st Imam Tayyib, they came to be known as Isma Ili Tayyibi Boras. In the 9th and 10th century AH, a special delegation used to come to Gujarat from Yemen, where Arabic was in vogue, and teach the local Wali Mullah by giving necessary instruction from the DA. I. Conduct examinations, inspect the madrasas, and teach Arabic to smart students. Some of these students were sent to Yemen to acquire higher religious education under the inspection of the DA'i himself. This way the trade and social relations between Yemen, Hind and Sindh became stronger and the lingual expressions, dialects and accents of Arabic, Persian, Urdu and Gujarati got mixed together. Keeping the main structure of the Gujarati language intact, normally Arabic, Persian and Urdu words were introduced by the learned people and gradually the community as a whole began using them in their daily and routine conversations. Topic. Writing system. Topic. LDA is basically inspired and based on the 28-letter alphabet of Arabic. Because the missionaries had to deal with local people in Gujarat for trade and religious affairs, they included 16 other letters of Gujarati for better communication and expression. LDA thus contained 44 letters. From these, three independent letters, Pay P, Pa Che, Ka and Ghaafg, Ga are widely used to incorporate Gujarati, Persian and Urdu terminology that cannot be written in the Arabic alphabet. Three other letters modified from Arabic that are used exclusively for Gujarati words are and Thirteen other letters are from the Ha family. Ha is mixed with different letters to get letters of different languages, such as Ba Ha, B Ba Ba Taa, T Da Ba Ta. Da pe ha, pi fa jim ha, j ja che ha, cha dal ha, di da dal ha, na kaaf ha, k ka and gaaf ha. G ga 28 Arabic letters used in LDA. Six letters of different languages used in LDA. Ten Gujarati letters derived from the ha h family used in LDA. Topic. See also. Topic. Old Gujarati language Topic. References Topic. Apple and Meiskin, 1987. Language Contact and Bilingualism. USA, Oxford University Press. Hans Hock, H. and Joseph Bryan, D. 1996. Language History, Language Change and Language Relationship, An Introduction to Historical and Comparative Linguistics. New York, Walter de Gruyter, Library of Congress Cataloging in Publication Data. Campbell, L. 1999. Historical Linguistics, An Introduction. London, Edinburgh University Press Baumhard, Allen, R. 1984. Toward Proto-Nostratic, A New Approach to the Comparison of Proto-Indo-European and Proto-Afro-Asiatic. Amsterdam, John Benjamin Publishing Company. Daftery, F. 2007. The Ismailis, Their History and Doctrines. New York, Cambridge University Press. Daftery, F. 1996. 
Mediaville Ismaili History and Thought. New York, Cambridge University Press. Ismail K. Punawala, The Pillars of Islam, Daim ul Islam of al Qadi al Numan, Oxford University Press, 2002. Dawit e. Olivia Personal Library Files of Letters and Correspondence 1815 AD. Katamba, F. 1993 Morphology, London, The Mac Millan Press Ltd. Karadis U. D. Dawit il Alvia, Alavi Library, Vidodara. Notes Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official website of Alavi Boras with all community events and activities.